Hello, dear student. So today our topic is on sericulture, the mulberry cultivation. It's very important. Some varieties that were growing in our India for the cultivation of mulberry plant. And here we have to study here the different methods of harvesting that required for the uh, cultivation of this mulberry plant for the rearing of silkworm. And which are these major uh, preservation uh, system or a method to uh, important for the mulberry leaves. Okay, so today, so the first one, the mulberry plant rearing or the cultivation of mulberry plants means what? That is called as the Mori culture. So in a exam, the definition will ask on Mori culture. तर लक्षात ठेवा की मोरी कल्चर म्हणजे काही नसून की मलबेरी ट्री और मलबेरी मलबेरी प्लांट्स रेअरिंग करणे आणि त्याचं कल्टिवेशन करणे की जेणेकरून आपल्या जी सिल्कोम लार्वीला त्याला फीड म्हणून देता येईल त्या अनुषंगाने त्या रेअरिंग टेक्निकला किंवा कल्टिवेशन प्रॅक्टिसला म्हणतात की मोरी कल्चर तर नेक्स्ट वन दिस मलबेरी प्लांट ओरिजिन so this mulberry plant origin is a uh, believed to be native of lower slopes of himalayas either in india or in china so this is the some origin of uh, mulberry plant so this mulberry plant is a uh, or mulberry cultivation is near about that occur in uh, all state all state even also all uh, whole country and is near about 29 countries where this uh, uh mulberry cultivation occur so here the mul mulberry species also are there are the major four types of uh, um, mulberry species and this mulberry species are these uh, morus alba and then one uh, morus nigra next morus latifolia morus lavigata apart from this some other some species also that growing or cultivated in uh, or found in uh, himalaya region and this uh, himalaya region these uh, species are morus indica and morus serrata so these are also occur in our india that mostly in this uh, himalaya region okay so this is overall this all species of this uh, uh, mulberry so okay so now the next one so which are this uh, ecological requirement for the mulberry cultivation for the mulberry cultivation some uh, important uh, some climatic factors that were uh, important ki jene karun tyamadhe aplyala proper mulberry chi plant chi growth ali pahije tala lagnara rainfall tal baro tala lagnari humidity manje adrata ha sagla babincha vichar karun ki jene karun aplya silkworm rearing sathi jastit jast utpanna kase milavun deta yil आणि त्यांना कंटिन्युअसली फीड कसं देता येईल इट मीन्स टू कंटिन्युअसली गिव्ह द फीड फॉर द सिल्कॉम रेअरिंग दॅट पर्पज सम इकोलॉजिकल रिक्वायरमेंट ऑल्सो नेसेसरी फॉर द मलबेरी कल्टिवेशन सो हिअर द फर्स्ट वन दिस क्लायमेट द ऑप्टिमम एलिव्हेशन ऑफ फॉर द मलबेरी ग्रोथ इज नियर अबाउट सेव्हन हंड्रेड मीटर अबाव फ्रॉम दिस मीन सी लेवल सेकंड वन दिस कल्टिवेशन पर्पज इज दॅट एलिव्हेशन पर्पज दिस नियर अबाउट थ्री हंड्रेड टू नाईन हंड्रेड Uh, meter above is is the optimum range to get the best yield and to proper growth of mulberry which occur and for this purpose the ideal temperature also is very necessary so this ideal temperature is range from 24 to 28 degree celsius where the proper growth mulberry plant occur and to get yield or to feed available for the silkworm larvae so in future we will get the more amount of pupa of this silkworm same like here the as like a temperature here required also relative humidity this relative humidity is near about the ranges of ranges from the 65 to 80% and sunshine jala ki amtu surya prakash mantu ki to near about 5 te 12 tasa parant aplyala ka divsa to sahaj tala milta il manje sky 5 to 10 5 to 12 hours per day sunshine is essential so next one the mulberry plant never sprout because of if the in temperature range is 13 degree celsius 
or maybe in case of the more above in 38 degrees celsius so there is a not proper sprouting occur so there is the not getting much more the feed uh, for the silkworm so this is overall the climatic condition required for the uh, silk mulberry cultivation now this next one the rainfall the rainfall ranges from the 600 mm to 2500 mm that if the the range madhi jar padla it should be the it should be the ideal rainfall okay it is also considered as ideal rainfall for the proper development and growth of this mulberry cultivation so this growth period mulberry required also 280 400 ml of water synthesized to 1 gram of dry matter so this is all that required. So now the next one is soil properties required. Soil also the mulberry is a perennial crop, isn't it? It is a deep rooted plant. Soil structure must be sufficiently porous required. Porous soil paisi aplala. Even that to tala pure sa sa hawa techa madhe khedti asaila paisi. Jenny wants to to supply of air and water to the root zone. Jenny kurun tancha root la. Proper as a hawa tas barber panata nisra munari zamin, the paisia star. Okay, now next one soil should be deep, fertile paise, it should be the porous, well drained, and with a good water holding capacity. This is much more important for the good cultivation purpose. Okay, so loamy and about the soil types loamy, clay loamy, sandy loamy soil are the best. Okay, for proper growth of mulberry plant. If the slightly acidic is occurs, so no problem, but it should be the free from injurious salt. Okay, so then again will do ideal for the uh, cultivation of this uh, mulberry uh, plant. Okay, so uh, for this uh, mulberry cultivation, here are some major some varieties that are growing in our area in our India. So like for the irrigated uh, uh, cultivation point of view, some like the varieties are Kanwa 2 that is called as M5, MR2, S30, S36, S54, DD that is called as Viswa, V1. So this is for the well suited for the irrigated. If the semi irrigated that land, so there is the Kanwa 2 is the best and MR2 also the best. And for the rain fed, so that is the required S13, S34, RFS 135, RF, RFS 175 and yes 1635 so this is for this uh, some variety again some variety also that required for the yield of different varieties for the mulberry cultivation so here that required the yield and to getting so like that so the local that to 25 ton per hectare in year kanwa to yama to also the best to near about the 35 yield ton per um, hectare occur yes 36 dd yes 54 V1 this is the best one to get the more yield than other varieties. So this is all that the mulberry varieties that commonly growing in our India for the multi, uh, multiplication and for the uh, getting of the more uh, mulberry uh, food for the silkworm. Okay. So now the next one, some, vari some uh, different uh, techniques required or methods required for the preservation of the uh, mulberry leaves. And this is very important for the uh, proper uh, providing the plant or leaves to the rearing of the silkworm larvae. Some, uh, some methods are, the first method is the leaf picking. This leaf picking can be done 10 weeks after the bottom cutting. Lip cutting karachi aste, sadaranta daha ato de zalanantar, tala bottom cutting ka pruning zerkeli, and subsequent nantar energy picking can be done after the seven to eight weeks. Hezala lip picking cha baptit, which proper cultivation zalanantar, proper plant chi growth zalanantar, aplala, je lip hawe astatki, jenikurabla silkworm, proper growth hotil. Tianushangane, he first method aye, it is a first method for to initially to. Uh, provide the leaves portion for the first instar larvae. So that time this harvesting method is huge. Okay, so now the next one, leaves are picked from the main stem and 
with the petiole and terminal burrs which should be the uh, very essential to easily provide for the uh, just a newborn or new hatch larvae and so that the lateral should develop rapidly for the next stages of larvae okay so this is second uh, second point now the name, next one main advantage of this method is what so what if the leaves can be select from the plant so it should be the proper growth stage of larvae should be select and to get to easily provide but it is it, it is a very laborious work to pick up and then to uh, bring in our uh, rearing room and to provide our la larvae so this that's why it is a very laborious work and to this method is follows in case of this leaf picking now the next one the branch cutting method so here this method is also called as in kashmir area that is the batchy system and in this method the total whole branch should be harvest or cut and used to feed for the larva or worms after the near about third to fourth instar larvae when that to come out so that time the larvae that molting in the third stage so directly this uh, whole branch that to uh, provide for the feeding of this uh, silkworm larvae and this method saves the labor actually what so there is no need to extra labor to pick up the leaves because of because of we easily that to give the whole plant so that's why it is very easy to harvest and to clean purpose and this branch is retained for the longer period okay so in this our uh, rearing room of this silkworm so these branches also that to live in the longer period so this is the method of this branch cutting so now this next one whole shoot harvest method ki ji method hai ki ja method madhe cutting branches vapartat but ti branches vapartana aplya field madhe ground level pasun cut kartat kiwa prune kartat and पूर्ण या अख्खी अख्ख शूट हे लार्वा फोर्थ इंस्टार लार्वाला अपन प्रोवाइड करतो इन दिस मेथड दिस प्लांट ऑफ मलबेरी इज कटिंग फ्रॉम दी होल बॉटम ऑफ बॉटम ऑफ प्लांट एंड और ग्राउंड लेवल एंड एंटायर शूट और एंटायर होल शूट टू प्रोवाइड फॉर दी फोर्थ इंस्टार लार्वी फॉर द फीडिंग पर्पज एंड दिस हार्वेस्टिंग शूट कैन बी डन एट द इंटरवल ऑफ 10 to 12 weeks and 5 to 6 harvest can be done in a year ek varshat 5 te 6 harvesting hotat ani each etacha madla jo interval asto 10 te 12 jene karun proper shoot develop hoil and proper in continuously apan tala provide karu shakto that's why this method is very popular in kolar of karnataka and in malda in west bengal so this is overall some methods of this uh, मलबेरी कल्टिवेशन और हार्वेस्टिंग मेथड नाउ हाउ टू प्रिजर्व दिस लूज फॉर द फीडिंग पर्पज ऑफ दिस लार्वी सो देर इज ऑल्सो रिक्वायर्ड सम बैग्स एंड दिस बैग्स द साइज इज स्मॉल विथ टू इंटू थ्री इंच साइज हैविंग ए कैपेसिटी फॉर टू होल्ड दिस ऑल प्रिजर्व ल्यूज इज अप टू फोर के जी और फाइव के जी ल्यूज कैन बी इजीली पैक इन साइड दिस पॉलिथीन बैग so this is one most important uh, point and these bags of should be can we can uh, use gari bag or polythene bag there should be the double layer because of it's not to uh, that proper damage in case of any like uh, uh, occur any problem occur so that time is required there are the better than the traditional method uh, of the storing in heaps isn't it because there is a chances to mold develop or other like uh, disease develop or insect were attack so converting them with the wet in gunny cloth so that to preserve in properly in more days and to easily provide our larva for the getting the pupa of much more quantity purpose for the easily feed on that the preserved leaves so this is all this preservation of leaf so student this is overall today's topic so for next in we'll discuss on the latter okay so thank you